So this base is this is basic. Okay, add. You can go away. This. No. Okay. This is basically how to make your custom thumbnail, um, without Photoshop for free. And you gotta go to pixellr.com. I'll put a link in the description. Go to create a new image, and it will show you the screen. Oh, that's not my name. Cool. Um, go to width and put. 1280 and height 720 and click change frame and that's it. Now I'll show you this screen. You can make it bigger if you want at the bottom, but it won't really matter. It's just like how you see because it'll still be 1280 times 720. Um, basically now what you want to do is you want to search up an image. I searched up thumbs up, and you gotta put transparent at the end. Look for one that see um you see it's eight hundred times six eighty five um don't try and get something twelve eighty times seven twenty or close to that um I can't really find one right now uh don't know why but yeah you you get one um basically what you do is you click view image it'll so it'll get into a new screen of course um but normally if you know. Normally, it would be a white screen with just the uh, image, and then you go to you right click and press save image as, and then you save you save it. Um, then you go to this screen back the pixel li, and you go to file open image. Go to, it'll go to downloads, and you got to put whatever you uh, wrote. As, and since I'm doing a 30 subscriber, I'm gonna make another uh, thumbnail for it. But um, you go like that. And basically, this is not on the template yet. So you gotta do Control A, Control C, and then you go back to the template and Control V. Now it's on the template, and you're ready to go. So there's a few things you can do with this. Um, I don't know everything, but you can type stuff in so go to a at the tool rack right over here and just click type whatever you want um i uh then you put you can put whatever font size style color and where you want it so you say hi uh because i didn't really do anything but you might have a question with layers try not to touch those because they might mess them up you might mess them up but um yeah and just put whatever you want um so then like if you want to put something else in you can like like the thumbs up um i have something else that i um saved it saved so i'll just yeah i know i spelled it wrong don't don't okay i, I, I think it was on purpose because it's funny okay and then do the same thing uh no not text uh, just for a second. Um, press Control A, Control C, and then go back to this. Control V. Uh, my like hand is very big, so you gotta go edit. Press Free Transform, and then it's gonna be able. You gotta X this out first. It's gonna be. You're gonna be. Do you want to see the image of your person? No. Um, you're gonna be able to move this one. Wait, so go back to edit. Free Transform. And also, you have to go to the layer. So, you have to see which layer has it. See, layer 3 has it for me. And, um, basically, you're supposed to move it. I do not know why it's not working. Um, but you can just mess around. You can, like, crop it, whatever you want to do. Um, free, I... Don't know why that's happening. Press OK. Oh, that's why. Um, yeah, get off the A, by the way. <laughs> um, and basically, you can move it around and stuff. Um, I'm trying to make it smaller, but I really don't know how. Oh, uh, <laughs> so go to edit thing and free transform. That's what I'm. Oh, see, you see the like picture? It's really big. Now you gotta make it really small. Um. And just fit it on there. Let's put this one. 
um thirty subscribers and then like you can make it a little smaller. Um but basically um you can do whatever you want you like and save um also I have another image but yeah um that's basically what you do and if something is over top of each other just go to its layer and make it here I'll show you so go to open image uh, here uh if you want to put another image and just uh yeah this is the picture and basically so I want to control A, control C, and then go back to this control. Oh, I put the wrong thing. Control V, and then it's fine. Um, no. But now this is very big, so I have to do this again. Yeah, it takes a little bit of time to like know where the buttons are and stuff, but you'll get used to it. So this is still really big. Um, but now that's it. Okay, and you see how I want the mouse probably change this yes, the mouse over it. Go to this and then there you go. So just click on your layer, move it over, and then you're ready to go. Um basically that's how you do it. Um and I need to do something. This is still a little too big. Um And plot changes, yes, that's how to make a thumbnail. Uh, you can you can delete what it, uh, and I'm gonna delete hi, but um, later on, um, if I make it. But then what you want to do to save it is you go to file and press save right here. And basically, this is when it's gonna show. You can name it whatever you want. Put it, it says quality 80, you gotta put it to 100 because you want the best quality, first of all. And just press OK. Um, that's basically how you do it. Hope you enjoyed. Drop a like. Subscribe. And I'll see you later.